And they were versus Partick Thistle, Scottish Championship. It's official, Alawa are on the worst run they've had all season after Falkirk's 2 1 win at the end of the draw, consigned them to a fourth straight loss. A fifth defeat on the bounce will see current bottom side Partick Thistle leapfrog the loss and Falkirk out of the relegation spots and leave Alawa bottom by a single point. And Alawa win could see them go five points clear of the bottom side Thistle and potentially see them rise as high as seventh depending on the scoreline in the Fernland's game against the Ness. Alawa named two changes to the one who started against Falkirk. Kevin Collar comes into the midfield as Jordan Kirkpatrick drops to the bench and left back Liam Dick returns in place of John Robertson. Partick have been unbeaten over their six games in 2019 and have strengthened well in January. Experienced centre back Stephen Anderson, probably the pick of the new signings at Fur Hill, but just in the last few days they've added another veteran in Scott McDonald. He starts on the bench. Partick gets underway. Throw it from Taga. Zanata inside to Kevin Coley. It comes off Stephen Anderson's hand. He brings his arm up from his side. It's an intentional movement towards the ball. And as Lorna Hazard receives treatment, probably should be facing a penalty. This will throw in. Spittle forward to Penrice. Ball into the middle. Doolan holds it up. Can lay off the Spittle. Who cannons it in high into the back of the Alouane. He's been Thistle's top scorer this season. He's done it again. It's another goal Alaba have conceded that they've just not followed runners into the box. Dillon can lay off the spell, who's ran past three Alaba players. Harkins. To Craig Slater. Plays it wide. Penrice getting advanced again, headed away. Slater goes for goal. It's a poor effort though. Good move by Dillon. Can't wait to spin out against Stevie Hetherington. He's giving him a lot of space. Goes for goal. Well over. This will be flying since the goal. And possession with Penn Rice. Plays a long through ball. And to Spittle, who forces a save from Parry at his front post. That's a corner. It's well over hit. That will be collected on the far side. Craig Slater. Goes for goal this time. He's a lot closer than his last effort. He still flashes wide at Paris Post. And Flanagan. Taking over the corner for Alawa. And Alan Trout has just been pushed to the ground by the goalkeeper. The referee will give the players a talking to. But no further action. That's a corner. Oh, of course, at the front post, Gary Harkins directs it towards goal. Kevin Colley can clear it away. This will get it back into Penn racing his cross. This comes off the bat. Kevin Colley. Moves it forward to Zinata. He's isolated on the left. Jack McMillan will get a foot in. In the corner. And the referee's given a goal kick. Nothing going right for Alaba this half. Flanagan. Deliver the in swinging corner. It's miss kicked by Spittle in the middle. Comes to Kevin Coley. He turns, gets a shot away. Corner hazard. And just palm it wide for another hour corner. Ellington driving at Thistle. Picks it Liam Dick wide. Oh, and to Kevin Coley. He's robbed and Zanata should finish better. He can only hit a Thistle player. Harkins. Doolan, Doolan goes for goal, just drags his shot wide of the post. He's only scored four goals this season. It's a paltry return. Played wide to Zanata for Alawa. Dummies, Jack McMullen gets to the byline, tries to cross it in. Stephen Anderson in front of it. And that will win a corner. And again, sends in in the middle with the back post. That's Andy Graham. Can't get anything significant on it. Trouton. Oh, just loses out. 
Please to Dylan. Dylan. Tis McDonald. And he probably should have sealed the game there. He's been out of the game for six months after leaving Dundee United. Signs of a bit of rust. Partick throw in. Perkins just lofts it in the air. Lewis Mansell heads it down to Scott McDonald. This time he makes no mistake. Six yards out, just places it in the bottom corner. It's going to take a massive comeback now from Alawa. It's a poor goal for them to lose. Again, no one goes with Scott McDonald. He turns away. Liam Dick and Stephen Heatherington just caught ball watching. And when Mansell beats Graham to the header, Scott McDonald makes no mistake. Alawa are going to throw on Hamilton. See if he can turn the game. Harkins. Rolls it forward into the box to Scott McDonald. It's a scuffed effort this time. Parry saves easily. Taggart. Thrown to Sinata, who holds off the challenge of Stephen Anderson. Inside to Kapatsuk, who wiggles and gets a bit of space in the box. Back post, it goes to Liam Dick. Poor touch. Keeper comes, doesn't collect. Hamon hits the shot and he can only hit. A thistle player as Alawa have an open goal. Robertson's ball into the box. Well, win Alawa a corner to be delivered by Flanagan. Again in the back post. Graham can't get enough on it. And not a good day at the office for Alawa. Alawa drop to the first. They drop to the bottom of the table for the first time this season. I suppose now pressure's off the walls. There's still 10 points to separate 10th from 4th. And I don't know what, if they can pick up some results, we'll still be right in the mix. Elsewhere, Dunfermline picked up a win against Inverness to ease their fears of dropping down the table. Morton and Air United played out a dull draw, and Dundee United won 1-0 against Queen of the South. Next week, Alawa can bounce back with the result at Palmerston. Queen in the South are on a similar poor run of three straight league defeats. Join us again on Watch TV.